so I'm back with another video and I'm just going to be showing you guys my foundation routine. I already have everything else on, my mascara, my eyeshadow, my eyebrows and everything. So let's just get right into the video. Um, the first thing that I do before I apply my foundation is I apply my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, which just looks like this. A little bit of this goes a long way so you don't need a lot of it. And I just apply this to my face. It does blur out like your pores and stuff like that too. Apply that all over my face. Um, now I'm gonna let that settle in just a little bit, just cause I don't like applying my foundation right after. I feel like it has to. I feel like it has to like settle in, so we're just gonna let that settle in for a little bit. I'm gonna apply my um, Physicians Formula Super Booby Concealer. This one is in light to medium. I showed it so many times. So I just apply this. Um, I'm, I just want to make sure I show you guys. I'm going to apply this underneath my eye, around my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my chin, on my forehead. Just like that. Because I do have a lot of redness. Then I'm going to be taking this um, Essence of Beauty foundation brush. It just looks like this. But it's so tiny so I use it for a concealer. Then underneath my eyes is not blended good. So I'm going to use my fingers. Now to set the concealer underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Um, what is this called again? The e.l.f. HD setting powder, I believe. Um, I'm starting to get a little dark. Um, to apply that, I'm just going to be using this e.l.f. professional bronzing brush. I just feel like it... Um, goes right underneath my eyes very well so um, so yeah now I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation this is in Classic Beige I've showed it so many times I use this every single day and I don't use a powder with it since, she, since it is matte I feel like I don't need a powder um, so I'm going to be using my makeup for you. I got the, every brush that I have with a pink candle I got from eBay. This is just a foundation brush. So I use this brush first, um, just to apply the foundation, um, blend it out a little bit. I like it because it feels like I'm painting my face. <laughs> um, and you also want to put on your neck. I hate when girls don't put this on their neck. I don't know how many times I could say that. I think I have said that many times that I hate when people don't put their foundation down onto their neck it just irritates me so much and I don't apply that much foundation just because I feel like I don't need it that much I only need foundation for my redness because I do have a lot of redness on my skin so it's not blended right now I'm going to be taking the elf powder brush it's just like a big flat brush and I'm going to be using this just to blend it out even more and I like to use it in circular motions because I feel like it blends it out better. I just love how this foundation makes my face look. It makes it look like airbrushed, literally. Um, so that's why I love this foundation. This foundation is like amazing. And also, if you're just using the foundation, your blush, your bronzer, and your highlight just sticks on all day. Okay, so... Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying my bronzer. I am going to be using my Physicians Formula one. And what I use to actually bronze my face up is this Image Essentials Powder Slash Bronzer Brush. It's just like this tiny little brush and I feel like it just goes right in where I need it to. So it's easy for me to see where I should be applying my bronzer. Just like that. Um, now I'm going to blend my bronzer out. And to do that, I love using my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. It just looks like this. I don't know why, but this just blends out my bronzer so nicely. Okay, so just like that. Um, now I'm going to be applying my blush, and for blush today I'm going to be using my Physicians Formula 1 in Rouge, um, and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. I've been using this blush, I've been using this brush for blush 
for a while now. Um, and this blush you could build up. And I feel like this blush goes with every look. And I like this blush because you can apply as much as you want. And it doesn't look like you're overdoing it. So that's what I love about it. And now I'm going to be taking the another Makeup For You brush. This one is the powder brush. And I'm going to use this just to blend out my blush and my bronzer together. Just like that. Um, now I'm going to be taking this Image Essentials blush brush. It just looks like this. I'm going to be using this for a highlight. For my highlight, I'm going to be using my Physicians Formula highlight. This one is the Sexy Booster Sexy Glow Bronzer in light, right? Yeah, light bronzer. And I just swirl it all around in there. And just apply my highlight. You guys can see that, huh? Love it. Down the bridge of my nose. A little on my forehead. On my chin a little bit. And my cupid bone. I love the highlight. Look at that, you guys. Doesn't it look so nice? I love the glow it gives. I just think it looks beautiful. To blend out the highlight, I'm going to be using the Sephora powder brush. Just to blend the highlights, the bronzer, the blush, and everything together. I'm going to be applying my lipstick, whatever lip color I'm going to be wearing that day. Uh, I don't like to apply my lip color at all before I apply my foundation. Just because if I apply my foundation after my lipstick, my lipstick will go all over my face. So today I'm going to be using Jordana EZ Liner for lips um, in Cabernet. I'm going to just be putting this all over my lips. So... Let's do it. Okay, so this is a little too dry and my lips are dry right now. So I'm going to be applying another lipstick over it because... Um, I know this is a creamy lipstick. This is Wet n Wild, um, Fergie by Wet n Wild and Ferguson Crest, Crest Cabernet. It just looks like this. It's also a very, it's also a dark, a vampy color. Mmm. Much better. Now it's more moisturizing. A Q-tip to fix up the lip color. So yeah, this is just my foundation routine. And I hope, really hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did or found it helpful at all, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, leave all your comments down below if you guys have any questions. If you guys have any requests, leave it down below. If you guys didn't like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. Okay, bye!